Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Great and mighty is our God. Great and mighty is our God over your situation. Great and mighty is your God over your struggle, over your pain, over your circumstance. Great and mighty is he. The Lord of hosts, the Lord of lords, our King of kings, the one that puts a smile on our face if we think about how good he is in our situation, how he has come through for each and every one of us. If we could just lift up a sound that is pleasing to the Lord, that says, God, I thank you. God, I adore you. God, you are worthy of all the praise, glory, and honor. You are strength on high. He is the one that has continued to do exceedingly above that we could ever ask for or think of. He's your encourager. We know that God has done something great in our prayer time and our prayer lives. We know that he is the answerer and we are so excited to pray. We are so excited to just lift up a sound to God, to let him know we're standing in the gap for some people. You know you have come in here and there are situations on your back. You know you have come in here and there's burdens that you have to talk to God about. There are so many things that we're able to lift up in this atmosphere without having to be quiet, without having to any, be worried about if somebody is listening, but only God is the one. So this is a time that we do to come together and pray. Please, please make sure that you fill the atmosphere with worship. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you so much for another day. We want to thank you so much for another opportunity. We want to thank you for the God that you are and the God that you always prove to be. We want to thank you, Lord God, for you are the creator. You are the sun, the moon, and the stars. You are the promise and the promise keeper. Hallelujah, Lord God. We want to thank you because you are a way maker. We want to thank you, Lord God, because you are the sure thing. Hallelujah, Lord God. You are the crown. You are the finish line. And we are just so thankful to be in your presence this day, Lord. We're just so thankful to be breathing, Lord God. We're just so thankful that you continue to order our steps. We're just so thankful that you hear us. We're just so thankful that you continue to bring us a compromised people to the promise. So, Lord God, thank you for allowing us to be here today to lift your name up, to give you the glory and the honor, to say just one more time in another day that you've given us. Thank you, Lord God, for being here for me. Thank you, Lord God, for making a way. Thank you, Lord God, for bringing us even in our mess. Thank you for remembering my name, not my sin, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to be here to set this place for your glory, for your victory, Lord God, that we remember that you are joy, that you are peace, that you are comfort, that you, Lord God, are love. Hallelujah. We just want to thank you again and again for not just two weeks ago where we remembered it, but we want to remember every single day that you are the miracle. You are the resurrection. You are, hallelujah, our peace. You, Lord God, have all power. That death is not a promise unto us because, Lord God, you died for us. You gave your son and you took back the keys. You decided to give us victory. So we're just so thankful for your obedience through suffering. And we pray each and every day that we just desire to suffer like you did, that we desire to love like you do, that we desire, hallelujah, the same suffrage in our hearts so that we may do that ministry, so that we may be that light, so that we may be children of God. Hallelujah, Lord God, we just pray that we continue to come here with a contrite heart, Lord God, that we come here seeking your face. Lord God, we repent for each and every wrong thought, each and every wrong 
insecurity in our heart that may keep us from getting closer to you, Lord God, that may keep us from having a deeper relationship with you, that may keep us from moving in the spirit as you have guided it. So, Lord God, we pray that you just rest here in this service, that you be welcome here, that your spirit is just saturating here amongst the people, amongst the spirits, that you're not just here in these temporary quarters, but Lord God, that you make a home in the temple that is in us. So, Lord God, we lift our hands to you. We seek you we humble ourselves and we just say thank you and lord god please welcome into our hearts welcome into our hands welcome in, and just pray that we lift up a sound that you delight in that the channels here in the spirit be clear that angels may work hallelujah that your promises may abound that your will may be seen that you are the will in the middle of the will so lord god we just pray and hope that you continue to be here with us and it's in jesus name that we pray god we're so grateful that you've allowed us to see this day yet again God, we're grateful that we made it here this Sunday. God, there's someone that went to church last Sunday, but God, they didn't get to make it into the house of the Lord. But God, we're grateful that you graced us yet again. God, we're grateful that you covered us as we drove to and from our destinations throughout this week. God, we're grateful because you allow for your love, your grace, and your mercy to shine down on us, Lord God, and we didn't deserve it. God, we don't deserve it, but God, you allowed for it to happen. So Lord, we stand in here in front of you, God, on our knees, Lord God, laying prostrate, Lord, whatever it is, God, giving you back the glory, God, giving you back the honor, Lord, thanking you because you didn't have to do it. God, we're grateful to you because you love us. God, we're grateful to you because you're such a worthy God. Lord, we're grateful to you because you love us so much, God, more than our friends can, more than our parents can, Lord God, more than a, a husband or a wife, a, a boyfriend. God, we're just grateful to you. God, we're grateful because you continue to do mighty works in our lives. God, you provided for us, Lord God. We didn't know where the meal was going to come from, Lord God. We didn't know how we were going to uh, make it to uh, and from our destinations, but God, you did it and you're continuing to do it. God, we're praying that as we are in this space, Lord God, that our hearts will be open to you. God, that our minds will be open to you, Lord God, that our spirits will allow for you to do something new, God, and we know that you're a gentle God. Lord God, we know that you're a God that has many is Lord God we know that you aren't gonna just um press yourself onto it so Lord we welcome you in God we welcome your presence into our hearts Lord God we welcome uh, your spirit into our minds Lord God and into our bodies Lord God we're asking that you would just be in this space Lord God that your power your glory would fall heavy Lord God somebody came in here weak Lord God somebody came in here not knowing if they were going to make it to today but Lord God they pressed their way anyway so Lord God we're asking that you would do a new thing God that you would show up like never before God that you would anoint them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet God we're believing you because we know that you're a healer God somebody's sick Lord God they don't know they're sick the sickness is laying dormant in their body but God God, we know that you're a healer. God, we're praying for you to do something new in this space. God, we have a great expectation on today. God, we dare not stand in here quiet. We dare not stand in here spectating because God, you're too good. You're too worthy and you deserve all the honor and all the praise. And God, we give it to you. We say hallelujah to your name. We say glory to your name. We say you are worthy, God. You are worthy, God. You're righteous, God, and we want to look like you. We want our lives to shine with your glory and with your light God we want to be um, your disciples when we go out of these four walls Lord God we don't want to look like the world so God we pray that whatever needs to happen whatever chains need to be broken off of us whatever yokes need to be taken off of us God that you will do it in this space God we just thank you we love you and we give you all honor and praise in Jesus name Hallelujah, God. We come before your throne of grace thanking you because you have done some mighty things for us, oh God. God, you've done some mighty things for us this week, Lord. You've done some mighty things for us this week, oh God. Lord, you've done more than just waking us up, God. You did more than start us on our way. God, you did more than giving us the clothes to put on our backs, and you did more for give, more than giving us the transportation to get to where we needed to be this week, God. God, some of us have had some really hard weeks at work, God. Some of us had some unforeseen meetings and had some unforeseen circumstances, and some of us just had a really tough time in class 
class this weekend. Some of us just had some family issues that we had to get through this week, God. But you have made it so that we got back to the house of the living God one more time. God, you helped us in these situations that tried to bring us down this week. God, you helped us navigate through these diverse temptations that life has us going through, God enough to get to your house one more time God just to tell you thank you for all the amazing ways that you've made to say thank you for all the doors that you've opened to say all to say thank you for every bill that you've paid every frustration that you helped us get over every tear that you helped us to cry to relieve some stress God we're coming to say thank you because you are the only one who has ever been by our side exactly the way that you said you would God we're coming to say thank you because you can see to show up for us day in and day out like no other God you're so awesome you're so wonderful God you're so mighty God you're so majestic God you are the only thing that we really need in this life and God as long as we have you we know that there's nothing that we're remiss for God as long as we have you we know that we have everything that we need God as long as we have you we know that we will never go lacking as long as we have you, God, we know that there's nothing that can ever make us feel better than you can. There's nothing that could ever love us better than you can. There's nothing that could ever care for our hurting bodies the way that you can. There's nothing that could ever soothe our aching hearts the way that you can, God. There's nothing and no one in this world that could ever treat us like you do. God, you are the creator of us. You, you created us. So you know us, God. You know what we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, God. You know what we struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis, God. You know the secret things that go on in our hearts that nobody even knows, not even our family or our closest friends. God, there are things that we deal with that only you know about, which is why you're so great because you know all that about each and every one of us and you still manage to show up in our lives in ways we can't even comprehend, God. We love you so much because you show us day in and day out that you love us, that you really do care for us, God. You show us that you really have our best interests in mind. God, we want you to sit with us, okay? We, we want you to sit with us in this room. God, the things that we have come to give you, God, we've come to give you more than just praise, God. There are some things that we need to get off of our hearts, God. There are some ways that we need to let go of. God, there are some mentalities that we need you to help shift, oh God. And we know that you're the only one that can really help us get through it, God. So we come not just to give you praise, honor, glory, and adoration and everything else that's due your name, but God, we've come to try to give you, we've come to work to give you the things that we need to release to you, God. God, there are things that we have to let go of and we can't find the strength to do it outside of this place. So God, I'm asking that you sit with us today, that you hold our hands today, God. We ask that you would sit on our hearts, God, and sit on our minds, God. We pray that you stir up something inside of us, God, that we can't get outside of this place, God. We're asking that you just work a mighty thing in this room today. God, whatever it is that you want to do, God, we give you the, the freedom to do it. God, anything that you want to do today, God, we give you the freedom to do it. We ask that you shift minds, God, change hearts, mend broken hearts, God. Put things back together that you want together and separate things that you want separated. God, we love you and we ask that you continue to do everything that it is that you plan to do in our lives because we know that you are the master of our lives. We know that you are the ruler of our lives, God, and we love you so much in Jesus' name. God, you are amazing in all of your ways. You are amazing on how you have covered each and every one of us that we are in the land of the living. We are so grateful, Lord, that your hedge of protection was over each and every one of our lives, that we covered, that we passed a car accident, that we heard something on the news, but God, you said not so on each and every one of our lives. God, we give because you've been that good to us. You are a strong God. 
because you said so, God. You said who the Son set free is free indeed. You said who the Son set free is free indeed. Our lives are free. Our hearts are free. Our mental capacity is free. Lord, that you are doing so many things in our lives. God, we give your name, the praise, the glory, and honor. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Hallelujah. And today's scripture will be 1 John chapter 4, 16 through 19. And it reads, And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who um, fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. And that was 1 John uh, chapter 4, 16 through 19. So at this time, I would like to uh, welcome our virtual sanctuary and those that's in the physical sanctuary on behalf of our leader, Reverend Pastor Greg Drumright. And now we will have our Citadel Litany. And I will be the leader, you guys will be the people. I have come out today not to, just to be a blessing, but also to be a blessing. I have, I will forget or who is with me or beside me. Though I may be tired, though I may be weary, though I may be hurting, though I may be in need, though I may be in an unfamiliar place, I will think of his goodness, I will think of his kindness, I will think of his mercy and grace, and all say, and I will bless the Lord at all times in my dancing, singing, shouting, and rejoicing. This day, his praises shall continue to be upon me and in my mouth. Hallelujah. His praises shall continually be upon me and in my mouth. Come on and bless the Lord in this place. He's a great and mighty God. Shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph. He's great and mighty. He's great and mighty. Great is the Lord. And he's greatly to be praised in the city of our God. In the mountain of his holiness. Great are you, Lord. Great, great, great. He's great and mighty. Hallelujah. And we give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you in this place. We crown you King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You're great and you're mighty because I have joy. You're great and mighty because you give me peace. Hallelujah. And I worship you, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I can only worship for myself. Why don't you li lift up a praise and lift up a worship in this place? He's greatly to be exalted. Yes, he is. Great and mighty 
there. All the earth will shout your praise. Shout your praise. Can y'all help us say that? All the earth will shout your praise. Shout your praise. We can do it. All the earth. All the earth will shout your praise. Shout your praise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the earth will shout, shout your, your praise. praise. Shout your praise. I'll do it until you be lifted up. All the earth. I'll will do shout it your until praise. all men shout are drawn praise. unto me. All the earth. All
you can in the presence of the Lord. to sing and I, I'm, unless I'm playing I can never sing it because um, a lot of musicians don't know it but it was written by the late great Bishop Ralph Donny Graves and I know you sat under Bishop Graves so I have the pleasure of having you here it says see the glory the Lord is here and his presence fills our midst his Destroys 
destroys every yoke, and He seeketh such to work. Stay right there. The scripture said He seeketh. That's a command. Worship him and he seeketh. Upa. I said, and he seeketh. All the angels are crying out. He seeketh such to His anointing destroys every oh, 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 oh. and he seeketh such to worship and he. Don't even look at the time clock. He's seeking. He's looking for you. Oh, whatever you need. Whatever you need. Just a little bit. Whatever you desire. It's in the atmosphere. And he. And he seeketh such to worship. And he seeketh such to worship.
come on can you just focus on him let everything that have breath let everything can you forget you are in this earth for a moment and can you act like you're in heaven right now Can you forget where you are and who you're with? And can you give God something that he hadn't got from you all this week right here? Can you imagine that the Holy Spirit has led you beyond the veil and into the throne room? And can you imagine that he's seated on the throne?
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. One more time, shout holy. Holy. Come on, I need about five more of you. Baby, you've been through too much to be cheap on the praise today. I know you almost lost it. But God put you, put your situation back in order. You ought to be the main one. Holy! trouble fix your problems it should be easy holy 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 can I get about 12 people to say holy 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 you're worthy you're worthy you're worthy I'm not doing it because of what you did I'm doing it because of who you are I'm doing it because you're holy I'm saying it because you're righteous. Do I got anybody that came to church today to praise the name? Just the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Holy. Holy. Bye, 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 bye. I feel something moving in this atmosphere. I feel it moving in my body too. I don't even know how you can stay in the same place. Cause when God move, I gotta move. I don't even know how you can be still. Cause I feel the Holy Spirit stirring up. Let it be stirred. The word of God says out of your belly. There'll be a stirring of the gifts of God. Stir it up! Pour it out! Oh, bye. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yo, no, 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 shut up. Oh, my God, there's power in praise. I said there's power in praise. Am I in the right church tonight? I said there's power that's in your mouth. Can you open your mouth? I'm waiting on you, brother. Come on, you have more to say to the Cowboys football game than you have to Christ. Open your mouth! Give it to him! Give it to him! That's a miracle on your road. I don't know which one it is, but I heard the Holy Spirit say, I want you to tell them there's a miracle on your road. You better look around you and say, there's a miracle in our midst. Somebody's going to go back to the doctor and the doctor's going to say what we thought was, it not is no longer. I don't know what you need, but I heard him say there's a miracle in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Well, if you don't want it, I got it. Glory to God. Look at somebody and say, if you don't want it, I got it. Ah! All you got to do is give them praise. What? 
worship him. Hallelujah. And he seeketh such to work. And he seeketh. Worship Him. Worship Him. He seeketh such to worship. Worship Him. Worship Him. All at home. <laughs> Just because you're not here, don't know me. He's not there, and he seeketh such to worship. And he seeketh such to worship. He turn the house down a little bit. Turn the house down three notches. Turn my monitors up too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Presence of the Lord is here. Presence of the Lord is here. Where's my holy? The about Shande Kasanda no Boshita. Yes, Lord, He's anointing. His anointing destroys <laughs> every all. and he seeketh such. Did y'all hear? I said his anointing it destroys every And he seeketh such to work. I said his anointing, yeah. It's gonna destroy every And he seeketh <laughs> such to worship him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. <laughs> Only if you love him. And then clap them like you love them. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh. not just singing it to sing it I'm singing it because every time I sing it something else breaks his anointing it destroys
Caesarea. And he seeketh such to worship him. If only you knew the significance, and I can tell that some of you don't, of what it means for the spirit to exit heaven into this earth, come into your presence, and take evil off your neck. His anointing, it destroys Yokes, the hairs are standing up on my arms. Yokes are being destroyed. Whatever, somebody has been praying, you fasted, it ain't done yet. God said, it's done now. You have been asking for a release that you have suffered with for a while. And I heard the Lord say, I have freed you. I have destroyed the yoke. I was just waiting for you to press your way into my presence. Long suffering is a fruit of the spirit. God said in exchange for all of your suffering, now I am giving you more of my spirit. The yoke is destroyed. I'm okay today. God, I thank you tonight. Worship him, him. Worship him, and he seeketh such to Why did it take so long? No, why did you hold your worship so long? The Lord says that we can worship, God says this to somebody, you can worship your way out. God said, my love for you is so deep that you can worship your way out of every one of your problems. 
God said, I long for your appreciation and your adoration. God says to you that every problem that life presents you, God said, you can worship your way out of every one of them. God said, that's for you. That's for you. That's for you. Lord, oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> I see a student worshiping when you don't understand your work. God said, you're going to bring the spirit of intelligence into your life. Ah! Hallelujah. I see somebody sick worshiping God. I'm going to invite healing into your body. That's how much I long for your appreciation and your adoration. The word of the Lord for somebody. Worship your way. Worship him. Worship him, and he seeketh such to worship Have your Bibles, grab your Bibles. Grab your Bibles. anointing <laughs> there goes another yoke God got you out of trouble I want you to just stand up and say I love you God I love you I love you I praise you I owe you something from 2021 I in I owe you some back worship I owe you some back praise you got me out of a toxic situation you got me out of me I almost killed myself but you did not let the plan go through oh, I appreciate I'm inviting you to do it because I heard the Lord say there's three more yokes that I'm trying to break there's three more yokes hey no 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 shut up glory they have all see our double shot. You ought to forget about everybody you came with. So you can get this breakthrough. Amen. Put me in the house just one more notch. Yeah, by a side. Oh, I, His anointing. Destroys. Sing it with me. Every and he and he sing such to worship. Clap your hands. That's clap them. Clap them in worship. Clap them in worship. You got to get where you can see me. Clap them in worship. Oh, my now, see ya. 
y'all patty caking. I want you to clap. I want you to make thunder in hell and a joyful noise in heaven at the same time. Clap like you're prophesying. Hey, hey, hey. Tell the devil I got news for you. The yoke is destroyed. Oh, God. I've been trying to let this thing go for a long time. Thank you. is taking yokes off your mind. Some of my most stable people have been dealing with unstable thoughts. But I heard the Lord say, I have not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. If you need your mind to be put back in order, I want you to jump three times and say, the yoke is destroyed. Work. The 
that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If you have been going through anything these first three months of the year, I want you to put it all in a praise right here and I want you to count it all joy. And I mean you better do it. And I mean you better mean it. Everything, every stressor, every frustration, count it joy. Praise him and say I thank you. Bless him and say I thank you.
Cause I, I'm not trying to prove a point. <laughs> the point is already well taken. The question is, do you receive it? Ask your neighbor, do you receive it? Two notches. Hallelujah. Glory. Ask somebody else, do you receive it? Glory, glory, glory. Amen. Take your seat if you can. Help me drive on. Help me drive on. Help me drive. Help me drive. He's a liar here. He's a liar here. He's defeated here. He's defeated. Turn the track up. Help me drive. Help me drive, old oh,
wish I had a church that knew how to rejoice. Cause baby, your April just got brighter. Your May just got better. Your June is filled with joy. Strive, strive, touch somebody and say, strive, run and tell somebody, strive, 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 oh, strive, 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 strive,
do in your family. Tell them wave your problems. Bye bye. some things out in your nerve. The Lord told me every time I said bye-bye, he kept saying Chris Jones. Bye-bye. Chris Jones. <laughs> Chris Jones. Chris Jones. Every pain in your body. Every pain in your spine. Every nerve in your situation. God said say bye-bye. The healing, the healing, the healing virtue is upon you. Be healed, be delivered, and be set. So long, bye bye. So long, bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye to my pain and my sorrow. Goodbye to my pain. Goodbye to my pain. Down in the house on my mic. Thank you. Spiritual warfare. Do you know what that is? Spiritual warfare. Do you know what that is? The enemy has been messing in your room, but a spirit of protection has been covering you in your sleep, but you have felt a dark presence in your room God said it was a friend that you thought was a friend but the Holy Ghost told me even though you've been fighting you haven't lost a battle yet the Lord told me to break the spirit of torment off of you nobody knows what's been going on up here but God but the Holy Spirit told me to tell you so long, bye-bye, every demon, so long, bye-bye, you're going to experience a turnaround, goodbye to your pain and your sorrow, so long, so long, bye-bye, in the name of Jesus, I bind every demon, every devil that's been trying to destroy and discourage you. God said you are free. You are free. God said, I, while you're praising God, God said the evil spirits are exiting your residence. God said what you lose in quantity 
quantity, you're going to gain in quality. There's going to be some friends that walk out, but God said the spirit of freedom is getting ready to walk back in your life. Clap your hands, church, if you believe God. If you've been dealing with any spiritual warfare, clap your hands and say, do it, Lord. Who am I? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. I want you to know we were we were praying yesterday and the Holy Spirit just changed Boiler Room. If you didn't watch Boiler Room yesterday, you missed your first miracle this weekend. I've been hearing from people everywhere. I want you to know the spirit of intimidation, the spirit of insecurity and the spirit of fear, it has to go. It has to go. Good God Almighty. God answers prayer. It has to go in the name of Jesus. I want you to know if you believe you are free, your life is going to change by Wednesday. In the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit has broken yokes. I didn't even know I was going to I was going to preach about it, the truth about trust. I'm still there. And I'm going to talk I'm going to talk about it this week. I'm going to talk about a different kind of yoke. That the prophet Jeremiah, somebody say God's prophet. God's was physically assaulted by a false prophet. The false prophet came and took and destroyed, broke a yoke off of Jeremiah's neck. It's a different yoke. It was the yoke of God, not of the devil. Because a false prophet was upset that Jeremiah's true work was going to actually destroy what the false prophecies had built up in the kingdom. Don't you understand that the devil is trying to scare you out of your purpose? But I come to tell you, Jeremiah said, you can break a yoke of wood, but you can't break a yoke of iron. The very thing that you tried to do to me, you devil, God is getting ready to do to you. Oh God. I'm not praying for anybody's destruction, but I am praying for every lying devil that's been trying to come against you and your family. And if you think about it, most of the confusion that we've been experiencing has been because of lies. This last praise is going to be that the lying devil will run out of your household, will run out of your family, will run out of your job, will run out of your mind in the name of Jesus. I want you to challenge every evil spirit that's been trying to destroy you these first 90 days of the year. I want you to make him pay in praise. One, two, three, praise. 
want you to make him pay. What you tried to do to me, my praise is going to do to you. Make him pay. Make him. Tried to get me to quit my career. You tried to get me to sit out this semester. You tried to get me pregnant. You tried to get me back addicted. Devil, you a liar. I said make him pay. You tried to get me to commit suicide, but I'm still here. That's it. I'm wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in the Lord. Tell the devil, I ain't going nowhere. Tell the enemy, I ain't going nowhere. Oh, I love him too much. There's too much purpose in me. Too much power in me. Too much trust in me. Hey. In the name of Jesus. I didn't know this was going to be a yoke destroying service. But I declare it's about 25 of you that look better than you did before you came in here. You ought to take about 30 seconds and just run around this church and say, I am free. And we're getting out of here now.
up and say, come on here. You got to get free here. Come on. The Messiah.
Shire. Oh, 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 he seeketh such to word. Choir, we're gonna have to learn that song. I'm gonna teach it to you. Sherry was giving out some bad parts. I just want to receive the Lord's offering. Thank God I got cheerful givers in here this afternoon. We're going to be celebrating 12 years of the Citadel Campus Ministry this Wednesday night on campus. Some of y'all haven't come to a wild night in a while. Come Wednesday. Just come. Please come. Um, we're going to be announcing, appreciating our outgoing and announcing our incoming officers. Please come. Um, women's Sunday, Women's Week is the fourth week in April. Two Sundays from now, we're gonna celebrate Women's Day. Sisters, get your sisters and brothers out here. All the way from Chicago, Illinois, coming back to us is none other than that great preacher, Sandra Riley. She is coming to bless our house, but I'm telling you, she's going to already come to a blessed house. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, we have some birthdays coming up later this month. Sister Joy is celebrating a birthday the last week in this month. The 22nd, Brother Sam Pierre, the 24th, and Sister Tanisha Thomas on the 27th. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Amen. I got a report from Sister Niani, all A's and one B. Man, that girl is getting it done. Good God Almighty. I'm looking for my college students to finish strong. But I already got a report that Sister Deja was gonna graduate this year. Sister Sade's on the Dean's list. She graduating. With honors! About a year and a half ago, she gonna call me sobbing, trying to quit. Now you gonna get your degree and you gonna be healed. <laughs> Minister Richards, tell her God is healing her body right now. In the name of Jesus. Brother Dexter is getting ready to receive his master's degree. Master's 
this degree. He brought you from a mighty long way. Anybody that's been brought, get up and give them a, he brought me praise. He brought, if he bringing you through this semester, this might not be your graduation, but it's your matriculation. You are the blessing. One more. Hey, 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 hey. Are you coming out? You coming out? Are you are you graduating the summer? She already graduated. You start your job. Bank of America going to the headquarters. And I don't mean no entry level position. She went from waiting tables to an entry level management job for a corporate 100. Y'all don't want to play with me. Cause I'll mess around and tell about five more testimonies. Put your hands together. Yeah, that does it. Yes, Lord. So long, bye bye. So long, bye bye. Goodbye to my pain. Goodbye to my pain and my sorrow, sorrow. So long, bye bye. Last week, I was so sick, I couldn't even hold my head up. I don't look like. I had to watch Sunday service on Wednesday. I don't look like what I've been through, but I thank God I'm healed. A hundred percent. So long, bye-bye. Yeah, so long, bye -bye. Singing like you've been through something. Goodbye to my pain. Goodbye to my pain. To my pain. So long. We get ready to see some miracles. Touch three people and tell them it's a miracle in the midst. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I think y'all just think I'm talking church talk. Do they believe in the prophet? Yeah, 
Shai. Glory. Uh, Sister Esther Coleman sent her uh, offering in the mail. I just want to thank God for, amen, those who send their offering. I know Dr. Cunningham is one of our virtual givers. Mama Walker is one of our mailers. I just want to thank God for everybody from our online church. And I'm going to prophesy that the E-Church is getting ready to blow up. The E-Church is getting ready to blow up. I thank God. I want to, uh, Brother Dom Jones has sent his tithe and offering. I said the E-Church is getting ready to blow up. In the name of Jesus. Everybody, let me tell you something. I want you to do something because there is a prophetic anointing in this house. Um, Sister uh, Kennedy, can you bring me some offering envelopes? I want to do something. That doesn't call Shia. In the name of Jesus. I'm not going to take the time in the service. No. Y'all y'all excited about what God's getting ready to do? Don't y'all draw up. Don't you draw up on me. Because one of the things, I got to get you to trust God so much to where giving doesn't intimidate you. That got to go. You want to know that's a, that's a spirit of poverty. So long, bye. The Lord told me to do this. Every person that cannot tithe to our church right here today, I'm going to leave this right here on the edge of the pulpit. And I want you to, if you cannot tithe, in other words, you do not have an income check coming to pay your tithe. God told me to help you in the prophetic. I want you to take this offering envelope and I want you to date it 30 days from now. And I want you to write it as if you plan on being employed within the next 30 days. I want you to write it for no less than $100. And I want you to prophetically start tithing. Prophet, I can't even put it in the basket, but I'm going to put it in my Bible. And what the Lord said is that you're going to give the best interview you have ever given. And I just want you to trust God because I'm talking about trust right now. And I want you to trust God that this will be the last month in this year that you don't have a tithe. Because let me tell you, baby, if you got a tithe, you got seed. And if you got seed, you can sow. And if you start sowing your seed, that means you're going to start reaping in joy. Look around the house and say the rest of this year is getting ready to be blessed, 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 blessed. Get up and tell somebody you've been praying for a blessed, blessed, blessed. The rest of your year is going to be blessed. The prophet is speaking. I'm bringing you the message. Blessed, 
bless gainful employment. $100 might even be your offering. Your tithe going to be better than that. The rest of this year. Every student that don't have an internship, your summer's going to be blessed. Good God Almighty. I'm believing God for last minute opportunities. Hey, oh. If you need a scholarship to get into the program, God said, just get ready, it's coming. It's coming, I speak it right now. I speak, God said, don't you, don't stop. Keep moving like you got all the money. Let me, cause I feel it, I feel the prophetic. I prophesy more than enough. More than enough. In the name of Jesus. God told me to tell the most broke person in this room, God said, you're going to take a vacation this summer. God said, that's how quickly I'm getting ready to turn your finances around. Not only will you pay your bills before you go, but you're going to be able to enjoy yourself when you get there. I'm gonna I'm, I'm shut it down. Cause some of y'all are too proud to praise him. Some of y'all are too proud to praise him. I had to run revivals while I was broke. The least you can do is praise him while you broke. Get up and give God five, 10, 15 seconds of joy. Now he get ready to turn that thing around. Try me. I heard him say try. Try me. Oh, yeah, yeah, my side. I was going to preach about that thing today. Malachi 3 and 10 said, try me. <laughs> because I'm preaching about trust. You better learn how to try God. In the name of Jesus. Now, if it don't happen, it's because you didn't bless him. It's going to be for two reasons. You didn't believe it and you didn't bless him. But you got to learn how to praise God off of a prophecy. Don't praise him when you get the check. Praise him when you get the prophecy. You praise him when you fill out the application. Matter of fact, fill the application out right now. Jump up and give him praise and say, I'm applying. I'm applying. joy count it in the name of Jesus bring your offering from everywhere come and get your envelope bring it from everywhere just come forget about the mushrooms just get here get here as you give it say I believe God and so shall it be oh 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 oh
Shando Bo Satan. He can do Bo Shando Bo. Love you, church, and the Lord bless you. <laughs> Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. And now unto Him who is able to keep you from falling, and present you faultless before the presence of God's glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, be glory, honor dominion and power both now and forever in Jesus name we're still celebrating resurrection he is risen if you haven't listened to the prayer listen to it I'll see you at empowerment meeting tomorrow and CCM anniversary on Wednesday night at North Carolina a &T. God bless you grace mercy and peace